Hey, what's up guys, D-Legend here. Today, as you can see, we have a mystery power box to open up. Um, I got this in New York when I was there recently. I was there to just visit some family and just uh, check out New York for the very first time. So, ended up stopping in a Walmart uh, near where my cousins lived. And so we actually picked up this mystery power box, which is actually a lot cheaper in the States than in Canada, because in the States it was 25 American dollars. Obviously, a lot of tax in New York, like I think it was 8.3% or something like that. But um, regardless, it was still cheaper because the conversion um, for that to Canadian, I think, was, I want to say 32 Canadian, um, compared to like the the 42 to $45 that we sell them at um, here at our Walmarts. So I actually popped this open already just to look at what the graded card was. Um, and that wasn't done because I wanted to have a sneak peek, but... Uh, because my cousin actually chose this box and we just wanted to see um, if she, because she was super lucky recently, she like won tickets to a um, New York Nets game, she won so many cool little things, so um, we just wanted to see if her RNG or her luck was just still there, so I already popped this open, I'm going to go take this off camera a little bit so we can get the graded card out and not reveal it, so... We'll leave that for the last little bit here, but the five packs that we got from this mystery power box are New Challengers, Extreme Force, Primal Origin, Code of the Duelist, and Pharaoh Servant. So we'll save Pharaoh Servant for last here, along with the mystery uh, card. And we'll save maybe Extreme Force, Code of the Duelist, and Primal Origins for last. I don't know really what is in the New Challengers or Primal Origins, so let's just have a look here. I'm going to try to keep these pack wrappers half decent because I do want to keep them because I don't think I'll ever really buy these again but this is always a struggle for me to begin with let's try from the bottom I wish I had more dex dexterous fingers okay no we're not we're gonna just pop it open I think this is a struggle be right back. <laughs> All right, we're back. I have it kind of opened. <laughs> the struggle, but I do want to keep these just because I don't think I'll ever open these packs again unless they come in another mystery power bo uh, box or something like that. So we got Clipper Launch, Clipper Launch, Magi Magical Star Illusion, Fluffle Rabbit, Laser Quip, Super Heavy Samurai Scales, No Hollow, so different dimension in Cancer, Fluffle Cat, Climate Change. <laughs> And a super heavy samurai soul fire suit. So nothing crazy out of that, but we do have a super heavy samurai scales. Um, we'll go ahead and let my brother open up the next pack. He's actually here with us, by the way. So we'll let him open up Primal Origins. Hopefully he keeps the pack wrapper half decent as well. <laughs> it's not strong enough. These are tough packs. The struggle is real. Holy, we'll be right back again. Alright, we got it open finally. Let's see what we can get in there. Alright. Alright, we got a reverse breaker. 100 footed horror. Battle, battle in boxer big bandage. Uh, artifact Achilles shield. Number 48 shadow lich. And ooh, our rare card is Dawn Thousand's Throne. Alright. Ancient Gear Box, Blizzard Thunderbird, and Galactic Charity. So let's put that rare card up at the front here. So nothing out of that one either. So, yeah. But let's see, we have got Code of the Duelist, Extreme Force, and Pharaoh Servant left. So obviously out of Code of the Duelist we want Firewall Dragon, but let's see if we can Snag him. Oh. Alright, we have Speedroid Passing Glider, Galaxy Worm, World Legacy Landmark, uh, Re X. It's kind of a cool card. Ooh, we got ourselves World Chalice Guard Dragon as an ultra rare, so that's pretty cool. Um, I think these packs are guaranteed supers, but not ultras, so that's pretty sweet. And then we got ourselves Predaplant, Bankus Ogre, Banks Ogre, Smile Universe, Infernity, Patriarch, 
femur skull. So decent pull there. Let's go ahead and sleep like I have just because we don't have a copy of him yet. I don't think. Um, yeah, I don't know if, is this guy in one of the legendary collection, like, promo packs? I don't remember, but regardless, there's that. Let's let my brother open up Extreme Force. <coughs> oh boy. Get this back in time. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Flame Administrator. Tin Dangle Hound. Artifact Mjolnir, FA Test Run, uh, it's a little hard for me to read there, Ritual Beast, Alti, Kim, Kim, Kimona Falcon, <laughs> something like that, uh, Vendrid Revolution, what is that, a super? Yep. Yeah. Guaranteed super. DD Seeker, Euler Circuit, Fire Prison. All right. Do you want to sleep that up? No. No? No, no, no. I don't think it's worth anything. All right. Well, there we go. All right. And then finally, our last pack here. We got our Pharaoh Servant pack. This is one of the reprint legacy packs that was in the Legendary Collection 1. So let's try our best to keep this one intact as well. And, um... Yeah, let's hope for a Jinzo. Or... Yeah, I don't know. Let's let's hope for Jinzo. So we got Wing Weaver, so these are classic cards. Ooh. Solomon's Law Book. Dokoroyaba. Yaiba. Yaiba. Gift of the Mystic Elf. Mystical Elf. We got Monster Recovery. And No Hollow. So Bombardment Beetle. Gradius. Bite Shoes. And Darkfire Soldier number one. A lot of vanilla cards here, as you can see. There was four monsters that were just not in effect monsters they're just normal monsters so pretty pretty nostalgic pack there but obviously nothing great there and finally we have our graded card obviously it's a beckett graded card so not as cool as a psa graded card but regardless it's a graded card this is my first ever uh graded card in my possession so hopefully we get something half decent obviously you got, i really know what it is but my brother doesn't really know what it is and neither do you guys so let's have a look here and we got Catapult Turtle. Ooh. So it is a 10. Um, and it looks decent. It's a super rare, so that's better than just getting one of the random rares that you can get in this um, from these mystery power boxes. But I obviously wanted a Gate Guardian or um, Mirror Force or who knows, uh, or even a, a Red Eyes Black Skull Dragon. Um, that would have been really sweet. But regardless, a super rare is better than nothing. I, I'm going to hold on to this for the time being. Um, yeah, this is, it's pretty neat to have a graded card, even though it's not a PSA graded card. So, um, there we go, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a thumbs up and make sure to comment on the video to let me know if you guys want me to open up more mystery power boxes or other things, um, from, uh, Walmart or just Yu-Gi-Oh products in general, because I do have them pretty steadily available at, um, my Canadian Walmarts. I do have another few items to open up. Um, that I also got in the States, so just let me know in the future if you want me to open up more Yu-Gi-Oh products, because I will do that on camera for you guys. And yeah, catch you all soon. Peace.